Are we ready? In a vision, God's messenger saw the beauty and loveliness of Jesus. As I beheld his glory, she writes, the thought did not occur to me that I should ever be separated from his presence. I saw a light coming from the glory that encircled the Father, and as it approached near to me, my body trembled and shook like a leaf. I thought that if it should come near me, I would be struck out of existence. But the light passed me. Then could I have some sense of the great and terrible God with whom we have to do. I also saw that many do not realize they must be in order to live in the sight of the Lord without a high priest in the sanctuary through the time of trouble. Those who receive the seal of the living God are protected in the time of trouble. They must reflect the image of Jesus fully. I saw that many were neglecting the preparation so needful and were looking to the time of refreshing and the latter rain to fit them to stand in the day of the Lord and live in his sight. Oh, how many I saw in the time of trouble without a shelter. Those who refuse and fail to purify their souls in obeying the whole truth and who are willing to believe that their condition is far better than it really is will come up to the time of the falling of the plagues and then see what they needed to be. But there will be no time then to do it, no mediator to plead their cause before the Father, like the five foolish virgins. I saw that none could share the refreshing, that is the latter rain, unless they obtain the victory over every besetment over pride, selfishness, love of the world, and over every wrong word and action. We should therefore be drawing nearer and nearer to the Lord and be earnestly seeking that preparation necessary to enable us to stand in the battle of the day of the Lord. Let us all remember that God is holy and that none but holy beings can ever dwell in his presence. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. King David wrote, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Those who have trained the mind to delight in spiritual exercises are the ones who will be translated and not overwhelmed with the purity and transcendent glory of heaven. When Christ comes, there is to be no change of character transformation of character must take place now. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God which works in you, both to will and to do his good pleasure. Soon, yes, very soon, we are going to see the King. Are we ready?